Looking for more exclusive Canadian recruiting content? Become a CFC Insider Gold, Silver, or Platinum member today for exclusive access to rankings, analysis, and news from across the country. Pay attention, because the players you'll see on this football field will next be starring in U-Sports, the NCAA, and maybe, hopefully, the CFL. Welcome to the CFC Prospect Game Roundup, featuring interviews with the top prospects who had a chance to play on TSN in front of a national audience. We're here today with CFC 100 offensive guard Giordano Vaccaro of St. Paul's High School in Manitoba. How are things going today, Gio? Uh, They've been going pretty well. How about yourself? Very well indeed. A little chilly, but that's all right. Yeah, same here in Manitoba. Before we get going and talking about the CFC Prospect game, uh, talk a little bit about your last season at St. Paul's High School with the St. Paul's Crusaders. How'd it go? I thought it went pretty well. Um, I played offensive tackle at our school in, at St. Paul's. Uh, I started all my year, and we came out with our championship in the finals, so it went pretty good, I could say. Championship, congratulations. That's pretty good indeed. Now, we'll talk a little bit about that CFC prospect game on TSN. Gio, when you look back at it, what were some of your favorite memories? My favorite memory would probably be uh, playing side-by-side with uh, another CFC top 100, uh, Reese Albert. Pretty fun to play with him. Another memory would probably be he's a really good coach, Coach Carl from Ottawa U. He's a really good guy. He helped me with technique. I learned a lot from him. And going in, I was a 2021. I was really nervous about my performance. Everybody was 2020, older than me. But Coach Carl fit me in pretty good there. And with so many great people around you during that event at the CFC Prospect Game on TSN, was there anything specific that you learned from the coaches or some of your teammates during that entire process, whether it was something from an on-the-field perspective or just life in general? Yeah, Coach Carl taught me a lot about new technique, you know, footwork. And he just taught me just go out there and just play how you play normally, you know. Go out there and be the roughest, toughest guy on the line. Two CFL legends in the head coaches, Henry Burris and Matt Dunnigan. What was it like working with those CFL legends? Oh, um, I want to say Henry Burris is, you know, really, really good guy. You know, he was my he was my coach. And uh, as soon as we stepped on the field, he was focused right on the kids. You know, he wasn't focused about anything else. He was he was there to, you know, help us out. Always there for us. And I had a memory when um, it was halftime when we were down by a couple touchdowns and he called us in. He's like, this is still doable. And he talked us up, went out there and ended up beating uh, Mr. Donegan's team. So really good. And once you had a chance to watch the broadcast, what was the best thing for you about playing on TSN? I was sitting down with my family on the couch and, you know, we watched and I thought that was a pretty cool experience to watch myself on TSN. The whole game in general, I thought it was put together really well and I enjoyed watching it with my family. And how did your family react? Uh, they were pretty excited when they saw it, how when they found out that the TSN game was going to be put out there and broadcasted, you know, they were just very excited for me and they enjoyed it. And what was it like getting to see the iconic Grey Cup newly remodeled with its brand new base? Um, to see the newly modeled Grey Cup was uh, very good, actually. When he brought it out of the case, it was something special, you know, when the people had to use white gloves to touch it. And it was just, you know, very beautiful. How it shined in the sun and everything. Very cool indeed. If you were talking to one of your friends and they had a chance to participate in a CFC prospect game or any other CFC event, what would you tell them about your experience? Oh, I'd tell them it was a very good experience. Um, as soon as when I got there, I was taken care of. I got put with a really good billet family. I still talk to them today. They're very good guys. You know, it's all it's well organized, very good coaches. And uh, CFC put us in front of, you know, the best. And they're broadcasting us and scouts are there watching us. So all around, I'd tell them to really go. It's a really good experience. Listen, Gio, this has been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. Congratulations about all your success so far. And we wish you the best of luck with the rest of your offseason. Thank you very much, sir. And a big thank you to Gio Vaccaro from the St. Paul's High School Crusaders in Manitoba for joining us today. You can head over to CanadaFootballChat.com to listen to the rest of the CFC Prospect Game podcasts. And you can also catch up on the latest recruiting news, rankings, and analysis.